So a common question that I get is how do I practice fast passages in certain repertoires such as Haydn concertos or bits in Dvorak concerto or in the Saint-Saëns concerto third movement. There are some virtuosic passages. So there it goes. How do I practice them? So in today's video, I would like to demonstrate to you from different angles. How do I practice these passages? Well, before we dive right into this video, I want to explain that the best way, I mean, at least for me, is to practice this with rhythmical patterns and bits by bits, so parts per parts. What often happens is that people just run through, you know, they play through the whole thing and they repeat it over and over again. I think this is just a waste of time. I think this video would be very useful to give you, you know, a new point of view and a few insights. Of course, there are many ways to practice fast passages and every person has its own way. But why do I love specifically rhythmical patterns and parts by parts? It's because it's very efficient and it's because also it's very fun to do. It's actually really fun. It's exciting to do. It's not boring at all. And also you're going to get the best results. And this I promise you. So today I will show you different bits from different repertoire. How do I practice fast passages? So during this whole video, I'm not going to say a word. There's going to be text appearing next to me so you can carefully read it, note it down if you need to note it down. And well, let's go then to see how I practice personally these kind of fast passages. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 
well, that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got new ideas how to practice fast passages in case if you didn't know about this kind of practice. If you like this video, definitely hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. Thank you for watching and we'll see us in the next video.